about to see The world in action What we can be Life with no distractions We'll get away This is what we waited for Hello and welcome back to my channel So today I've got a food haul for you I've been to Lidl and done our weekly shop um, wasn't too bad in there today. I've been this evening, which is Wednesday night, and um, went around half past four, and they had most things in. Still can't get any eggs. It's just a southeast Kent kind of thing. Um, I know loads of you are saying that shops near you have got eggs. We just can't get them here, so it is what it is. Never mind. And I bought something that's probably a bit stupid because you're going to need eggs with it, but I can use it for other things. What I would do is I would take through everything we've bought and then at the end I'll let you know my meal plan and how much I spent. So it's a massive haul really, we were out of loads of things, I needed lots of fresh fruit and veg um, and some meats and that, so I'll take you through it anyway. So first off I've got some fun sized pears, we've got some, some munch too, some baby corn and some green beans. I'm going to be making a Chinese mince noodle stir fry, so I need those for that. Some British apples, these were 65p again for four, so I got eight of those. Two courgettes, Steve and I are trying to cut down on our carbs a little bit. We're still eating carbs, but where we can, we're replacing it with roasted vegetables. Um, and I've also got a spiralizer, which one of you lovely guys, Carol, sent me. And I'm going to make some spiralized courgette, I think, to go with something this week. I keep saying it, and I'm definitely going to be doing it. Leeks, we absolutely love these roasted with our roast dinners. We've got some baby plum tomatoes. Did I get two of those? No, just one of those. Two cucumbers. I got two butternut squash. I'm going to be remaking, remaking, making the butternut squash lasagna again. Um, and we're also going to use this as a base for, like, instead of chips, basically, butternut chips. I got two lots of mushrooms over the back there. I got two red grapefruit. I absolutely love these. Um, and they were reduced to 29p, so I grabbed two of those. I got some beetroot. Um, this obviously, this is not cooked beetroot. Um, there's a lady I watched, her channel is called The Kitchen Spy, and she did a roast dinner the other day, and she had roast beetroot on it, and it just reminded me that I absolutely love roast beetroot. Never thought to put it on a roast dinner. Um, her channel is very similar to mine. She does food hauls and she does meals of the week and cook with me's. So that is the kitchen spy. And make sure you go and check her out and have a look because she does some fantastic meals and she's a really lovely lady. I also follow her on Instagram. If you like my channel, then you'll definitely like hers. I've got some potatoes, three red peppers. I'm gonna be making a salsa that we're absolutely obsessed with. And the other one is for the beef stir fry. Red onions, carrots, and an iceberg lettuce. I also got some grapes. I think that is pretty much all the fresh stuff I got. I can't wait to eat my roasted beetroot. I'm looking at it like, oh yes please. I haven't had dinner yet, can you tell? <laughs> right, meat wise, two lots of lean beef steak mints. One I got for the beef stir fry and the other one I might make some sort of healthy lean burgers from. Two salmon fillets. I'm gonna be recreating a salmon pasta salad that we had last week which we put prawns in. I haven't got any prawns, but I thought we'd just have salmon instead. We don't need both. Chicken breast fillets. I'm actually gonna attempt to recreate the marry me chicken that I made, but I'm gonna swap out the double cream and I'm either gonna use coconut milk or a tin of Campbell's or Bachelor's condensed chicken soup and still use all the other ingredients, not use the oil and put a little bit less parmesan, just see if I can make it a little bit healthier, and then we'll serve ours with like roasted veg instead of the mash or pasta. So I'll let you know how that one goes. Two clovers, because they're only like a pound and four pence in Lidl. Two cottage cheese, one is for the butternut squash lasagna, and one is for just eating. <laughs> Me and Bailey love cottage cheese. Actually, so does Jake, yeah. Lighter cheese triangles, we have these pretty much every lunchtime on my Vita or rice cakes. Some of this 50% less fat mature cheddar, it is actually really mature and it tastes like a decent cheese considering it's got half the fat so I'm really enjoying that and it's no more expensive. Split pot yoghurts, we always used to call these corner yoghurts, like the Muller ones um, and I always say to the boys do you want a corner yoghurt and they've informed me that they're not corners, they're actually, these are like square, I don't know, 
they're just split pot yogurts but they're not corner yogurts that's what i've been told i saw these gammon steaks reduced they're two pound two pence and i thought they might be nice just to put in a freezer put in the freezer and we could slice them up and have them in like a salad i'm sorry about the shadows it's just the time of night and it's so dark here now tonight uh, i got some chicken nuggets some breaded and some battered they only had one battered left so these are just my stick in the freezer because everyone needs a lazy night don't they potato pops they're still doing them still extremely happy right, back to the chilled stuff i got some pepperoni the boys are going to be making pita pizzas some smoked ham some wafer thin smoked turkey breast this is really nice this is a little bit more expensive um, but when you check it's like 97% turkey um, and then I've got some wafer thin roast chicken as well this is just really good in sandwiches We've got some pork mini frankfurters because they were on offer they're £1.53 and you got how many have we got in there quite a few probably about 10 and I thought we could slice these up and the boys can have those on their pizza pizzas as well I am looking around wondering where the pita breads are though I don't think I picked any up Okay, pita pizzas has just turned into wrap pizzas. <laughs> I bought wraps because we always use wraps for lunches and that, but no, nope, never fear, we can have wrap pizzas. Medium egg noodles to go with the uh, beef stir fry. Steve and I have got a packet of naked noodles left, so I might use those for us. Some instant curry noodles just for a lunch for the boys one day. My non-essential purchase. <laughs> I bought a waffle maker. This was only eleven ninety nine, and when we were in Florida, we absolutely loved making our own waffles. But can't get any eggs at the moment. But I have seen people making omelets in these, like with like a bit like a frittata with sort of peppers and onions and things in. And also, somebody used leftover mash and made like I suppose potato waffles. Yeah, so very versatile i'll let you know how it is so for 11.99 i thought we'll give it a try and then when we get eggs we could actually make some waffles as well sponges because i'm cleaning my oven and i need a sponge um foil bean bags these are the large 20 liter pretty pretty self-explanatory i'm pretty much out of cleaning stuff so i just got this antibacterial surface cleaner i got some dishwasher tablets these were 2.99 for 40 tablets I had to buy fairy. I was very disappointed. Lidl's washing out liquid is 65p. This was £1.65, I think. They didn't have any washing up liquid. Very limited on some stuff still. Um, so I got that because I need it just for washing glasses and things. Two bottles of white wine. This should be £5 and I think it was £3.20 a bottle. So that's nice. I picked up two of those. Chicken gravy granules, obviously for gravy. Peel plum tomatoes, baked beans. They've still only got their simply ones, but beans are beans. Um, two lots of marrow fat peas. Just fancied those on our roast. Another pickle, because we were out of that, and we have that on rice cakes too. Normal milk, some tropical granola. Bailey absolutely loves this for his breakfast. The other two do have breakfast, by the way, but Jake tends to have fruit every day. Like, he'll have an apple or a banana or something. And Oscar is much more of a toast kind of boy. Breakfast biscuits, just to go with lunches. Um, these are strawberry, blackberry and yoghurt. And Lidl have also started doing a knockoff like soft bake um, biscuit. You get five in here and they're £1.49. So I thought we'll see what they're like. We've got some medium sandwich bags, um, 50 of those. Two lots of cup of soups, one minestrone and one tomato and vegetable. Steve and I have been having these with rice cakes and cheese spread for lunches just to cut down the calories a little bit. Some baked crinklies, these are a pound for six packets. And ten lots of the crunchy fries. Um, these are, what are these? These are less than a pound for ten, which is good. I got two Hovis soft white, and I believe these were on offer. Yeah, these were 69p. And I also got some all oh, butter French croissants just to put in the toaster, to put in the cupboard, and then just to toast for breakfast and things. So that was everything I bought, and I spent £101, which I don't think was bad at all, considering we bought a waffle maker, two bottles of wine, and salmon, which we don't normally buy. The lean mince is more expensive than usual um yeah so that's everything we bought so what i will do now is take you through our meal plan i forgot to mention we also got one of these and some eggs and 
some Larry the Lamb chocolates because they had a stand at the end of the till saying free, please take. So they had loads and loads, but we didn't need loads and loads. So we just picked up these three. Um, so I thought I'd mention that as well. So our meal plan for this week, we are gonna have leftovers one day. We've got some leftover Hawaiian chicken, some beef stew and some pasta bake. I'm going to be making a healthy version of the Marry Me Chicken. I'll let you know how that turns out. Obviously, I'll film that. On Friday night, Steve and I are going to have a salmon pasta salad with red peppers, spring onion, chilli, that kind of thing. And the boys are going to have wrapped pizzas. Saturday, hopefully, if the weather's nice, we'll be having a barbecue and make some homemade burgers and things like that with wedges and salad. And Sunday, we're having roast pork. I've got leftover pork from when I bought a big joint a couple of weeks ago, so I haven't got to cook that. I've just got all the trimmings. Going to be having butternut squash lasagna um, as requested by Steve and then we're also going to be having stir fry beef with noodles so that's our meal plan for this week so that is it for this week I hope you've enjoyed this video if you have please leave it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already and I will be back very very soon with another video take care guys this is what we waited for